Hey guys, it's Adrian over BHA here bringing you another updated uh, video on how to install Zone Miner on Ubuntu. And not regular Ubuntu desktop, but Ubuntu server, uh, 1604. I did this video a while back. I um, thought I would go ahead and do an updated version of it, uh, a little bit better quality, uh, hopefully a little less confusing and easier to hear as well. So obviously the main prerequisite for this is uh, that you'll need to, during your Ubuntu server install, you need to, uh, a menu will pop up, uh, much like you see here, where it says software selection. There's a couple on here that you want to choose, uh, LAMP server, uh, which stands for uh, Linux, uh, Apache, MySQL, PHP. You'll want to install that, so it'll put all those prerequisites on there. We'll need those for our zone minder install. Also, I don't have it checked, but down there at the bottom, it says open SSH server. Obviously, if you want to be able to access this server remotely, which is what I normally do, you'll want to check that as well. That'll kind of speed things up. All right, so let's try to go over everything uh, that we're going to cover in this video. So we're just going to start off by making sure our system is up to date. Uh, next, we will uh, edit the uh, MySQL config. Once we got that finished, we're going to install ZoneMinder and PHP-GD. Then we are ready to prepare our ZoneMinder uh, MySQL user that we'll use to uh, sync between ZoneMinder and the MySQL database. We're going to set permissions on the zm.com file and we'll enable any Apache modules that we need for this install. Uh, then we will edit the zoneminder.com file for Apache and go ahead and start zoneminder. Once that's done, we can edit the time zone in our php.ini file and then we are ready to uh, hit the web GUI of zoneminder and see what that looks like. So let's get started. All right, so we got a clean install of Ubuntu server. So let's go ahead and make sure our system is up to date with any uh, current updates. So do a sudo apt-get update and a sudo apt-get upgrade. And as always, I will fast forward through this so we're not waiting around for it to finish. Now that updates are done, let's go ahead and edit our mysql.com file. So we need to remove the existing, so we're going to do a, a sudo rm slash etsy slash mysql slash my.cnf. And then once we do that, we're going to take the example one that they give you. take that example one they give you and we'll do a uh, sudo cp slash etsy slash mysql slash mysql.conf.d slash mysql.d.cnf space slash etsy slash mysql slash my.cnf that'll move that example config they give you to the directory that we need it in and again, I'll put all that in the description so you can just copy and paste it and you're not uh, you know, having to try to figure out what all I wrote in there. Now we're ready to edit it. So we're going to do a sudo vi etsy mysql slash my.cnf. Basically, the only thing we need to do is we're going to scroll down here where it shows basic settings and under... Uh, skip dash external dash locking we're just going to add a line underneath there so the sql underscore mode equals no underscore engine underscore substitution and that will need to be in all caps once you do that, we can save it.
And now we can uh, go ahead and restart MySQL. So we'll do a sudo systemctl restart mysql.service. Give that a second to come back up. And we can go ahead and check the status on that just to make sure it's uh, running okay. So we'll do a sudo systemctl status mysql.service. course as you can see it says active and running so everything looks good now we are ready to install zoneminder and php gd so we'll do a sudo apt get install zoneminder space php gd hit yes and again I'll fast forward through all this so we're not waiting around for it to finish all right we're now ready to set up our zone minder mysql user All right, so I've got a couple of commands here that we're going to type in for uh, setting up the user permissions and everything for our uh, ZoneMinder user in MySQL. I'm not going to read them all the way out. I'll put them in the description and just copy and paste them in there. And my password. And that's going to be your uh, MySQL password that you set up whenever you first uh, uh, loaded Ubuntu server. And here's another one basically going to grant uh, access to everything that's needed uh, for zone minder for our ZM user So we'll type in our password again. And let's see, one more command. This is a MySQL admin command. So reload here. Go ahead and type our password in. We are now ready to set permissions on our zm.conf files and enable all those Apache modules that we need for ZoneMinder. We'll do a sudo chmod 740 uh, slash etsy slash zm slash zm.conf. We also need to change ownership on that as well. So of course we'll do that for root uh, and www-data. Same thing again. I'll put all this stuff in the description so you're just copy and paste it. Now we need to add a user to the video group. So we're going to add user www-data to, to the video group. Now we can start enable some of those uh, Apache modules. Uh, so we'll do a sudo a2 in mod CGI. So it's basically enabling the CGI module. We need to enable the ZoneMinder configuration module. course we need to enable rewrite and we need to update the ownership on the uh, user share zone minder directory Now we are ready to edit the ZoneMinder configuration file in Apache and go ahead and start ZoneMinder. So we'll do a sudo vi etsy apache2 conf available slash zoneminder.conf. And 
and basically we're just gonna make a couple of changes here on the uh, options the www directory we're going to go in and put a minus next to indexes and put a plus next to follow sim links and then we're going to also add a second directory down here at the bottom so uh, we'll scroll down here and again i'll put all this in the description so you can just copy and paste it User shares zone minder www API and of course we'll do allow override we'll set that to all and then we can close that out. Go ahead and save that. Now we are ready to start Zone Minder. So of course for starters we need to enable it in System CTL. So we'll do a sudo System CTL enable Zone Minder. Uh, once that's done, then we can go ahead and start it. So we'll do a sudo System CTL start Zone Minder. And then of course lastly just to make sure everything looks okay we're going to go ahead and check the status as well so we'll do a sudo systemctl status zone minder and as you can see it shows that it's active and running One last thing you have to do for Zone Minder to not complain is to make sure that you have your time zone set correctly in the php.ini file. So we'll go ahead and edit that. It will be uh, sudo vi slash etsy slash php slash 7.0 slash apache2 slash php.ini. And basically, we're just going to scroll down here. Uh, let's go ahead and just do a search for uh, date. And there it is. So it's currently commented out. So we're going to have to uncomment that. Basically, take that semicolon out from in front of it. And then just put whatever time zone you're in. Uh, Mine should be listed as America slash Chicago. So go ahead and save that. And we are ready to restart Apache here just for those changes to take effect. So we'll do a sudo systemctl restart apache2.service. All right, guys, let's go ahead and see what the web front end looks like. So here I am at the web front end. Uh, if you didn't already know, it's basically the IP address of whatever machine that you have ZoneMinder running on, slash ZM. That is the default uh, web interface for uh, ZoneMinder. And as you can see, I have it pulled up here. This is running version 1.29. I don't have any cameras added to it yet, um, but all you have to do is you can go over here and click on add new monitor. And let me slide that down here so you can see it. And then you can go ahead and go through and add your cameras and whatever else. I'm not going to get into details on that for this video because it's already pretty long, but this basically got ZoneMinder installed for you on your Ubuntu server. That is the end of the video. Uh, let's do a quick rundown of everything we covered in this video because it was kind of lengthy. So we started out by making sure our system was up to date. Then we edited our MySQL config file. Uh, once we had all that done, we were able to install ZoneMinder and PHP-GD. Uh, once that was installed, we were able to prepare the uh, ZoneMinder MySQL user. 
after that, we set permissions on the zm.comp file and enabled all the Apache modules needed for ZoneMinder to work. Then we edited the zoneminder.comp file in Apache uh, for everything that we needed to do, and then we started up ZoneMinder. Uh, lastly, before uh, finishing up there, we edited the uh, php.ini file because we have to have the time zone uh, for ZoneMinder not to complain. And once that's edited and we restarted Apache, then we were able to check out ZoneMinder's web front end and see what that looked like. Again, that is the end of the video. I hope it was a little bit easier to follow than the previous version of this video. Um, obviously, if you like the video, definitely subscribe to my channel and check out all my other videos. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, hit me up in the comments below. And if there are any videos out there that you'd like to see that I don't already have out there, again, let me know in the comments and I'll see if I can't get something put together for you guys. Otherwise, I'll see you guys around. Thanks.